in this video i am going to be teaching you how to formulate your own broiler starter feed and if you are patient enough to watch to the end uh, you are going to see how to cost the broiler starter feed and what it can take you to formulate your own broiler starter feed from beginning till end and uh, you will get the cost analysis and also get the figures on what to compose. Wait, wait, no skip this advert. I know you're interested in poultry farming. That's why you'll be about to watch that video right now, seeking guidance that will give you the courage to raise broilers and make profit. In the broiler video course, you will learn everything you need to know and succeed in raising broilers from the planning stage that will teach you how to estimate how much it will cost you to raise the best, how many bags of feed it will take you to feed the bears, the building structure, the spacing of the bears, to the preparation stage, the things you need to do before these bears arrive and the materials you need to be on ground, and then to the day-to-day -day activities. Do you know you can raise broilers for six weeks and they are matured enough and big enough to be sold in the market? Yes, it's possible. The broiler video course will teach you how to do that. And at the end of the day, I'm going to teach you six different ways to sell your broilers effectively and very fast. And when you to the course, let me teach you how to do it properly. So you'll be cashing out as a poultry farmer. If you're excited about what you are going to learn now, please like this video. And if you are sub coming to this channel for the first time, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, we, are, we are going to be teaching you how to personally formulate your own broiler starter feed. And you know, in the past, and even sometimes currently, we employ what we call the Pearson Square Method. And that Pearson Square Method, you know, is now obsolete. We are not using it again because we are no longer doing complex feed formulation. And that piercing method, we always consider the, the, the source of the energy and the crude protein. So, for instance, if you have nine for your, from your corn and from your soya meal, soya meal most of the times come with 44% crude protein to 46%. So you now put what you want to get. If it is, for instance, in the starter feed, you always have about 23% uh, crude protein. So, you have to do your subtraction. This is piercing method, you know, but well, that's not what I'm going to te be teaching you. The piercing method is a different matter. Mm. But here, we're going to be doing it very simple. So we're not going to be teaching you all this piercing stuff, but for the knowledge sake, in the, in the piercing, this could from your, the crude protein available in the soya, and this crude protein available in the maize. And of course, you will always subtract from the larger, from the larger one to the bigger one. Sorry, from the larger one to the smaller one. So 23% minus 9, 23 minus 9, you'll be having 14%. And uh, again, 44 minus 23, you'll be having 21%. And when you sum these two, you know, plus 14, it will give you 35%. So this is what piercing, just a general overview of piercing method, but this is where you want to put two different ingredients, looking at them containing the same thing, but at different percentages. But in this case, we're going to be doing simple production using a concentrate. Here we're going to be using concentrate milling. And in concentrate, we have different types of concentrates, 2.5%, 5% and what have you. So we'll be looking at 2.5% concentrate. And when you make 2.5%, it contains the amino acids, the trace elements, and vitamins. And when you put your concentrates, few materials can be put together, and then it forms the basics for your feed formulation. And in Nigeria, we have maize, we have soya, we have wheat offer. And majorly, the maize and soya forms the major part where the energy and the amino acids will be coming from. And again, we are going to be adding some other things. Sometimes in, 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 if you are putting in much feed together, you need to bind it together. And this soya is the meal, the soya bean meal. Then you have soya oil, 
or you, sometimes people can use vegetable oil to still give you the same result then you have what we call currently we call it FMR that FMR means fish meal replacer and this fish meal replacer uh, in, 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 instead of using 3 kg of the normal fish meal the fish meal replacer will save you cost and you use only 1 kg what 1 kg of fish meal replacer can do is equivalent to what 3 kg of fish meal the 70% fish meal can do and again you know we are doing this thing to also reduce the cost of production so we also put cost effectiveness in the feed and again we also add some probiotics these probiotics personally I usually I subscribe to what we call Meada San. And again, we will add antioxidosis. And feed grade antioxidosis is called monensine. So, this is what we are going to be compounding together. And again, to uh, excite you, there is a new innovation now. And that new innovation is because the price of maize and soya is on the high side. The innovation talks about what you can use to replace part of the energy and part of this uh, the uh, amino acid and reduce the maize and soya. And what are we talking about? Is what we call the magic energy mix. This is a very new, you know, very very new innovation that. In fact, I've used and it's very, very, in fact, it's magic. It's magic. So how are we going to go about the composition? These are the basic things we need to compose this feed. What are we going to do? We look at their prices and we look at the quantities we are going to be adding by time. This 2.5% concentrate, for broiler, it, you, you will add 30 kilograms. And each 30 kilogram, is sold currently at the price of 41,000 naira. Maize. Well, there is a balance that is supposed to be here. Maize is supposed to be containing about 55 to 60 percent of the feed. But before we balance the maize and soya, let's look at the energy mix because the energy mix is going to determine the amount of maize and the amount of soya that is going to be contained in this feed. And now, every 12 kg of energy mix is going to make sure we replace maize and soya by 18% and 21% respectively. Let's do some calculations. By standard, by standard, you are supposed to have the maize of a good starter at least 580 kilograms. But because of the energy mix, let's look at what we are going to have. So 580 minus 18%. So you are going to have 475.6 kg. This is what going to form your mix. And soya, by standard, you are supposed to have about 25 to 30 percent of the soya, depending on where you are getting the soya from and the percentage protein in the soya. But in this formula, the soya we are going to use is 290 kilograms. So let's look at if we are subtracting 290 minus 18 percent you find out that you have 237.8 as the soya level so because of these two the soya oil is supposed to be 10 kg very simple fish meal replacer while we are going to add fish meal fish meal and soya are sources of the protein here the presence of fish meal made us to reduce the standard soya that is supposed to be because fish meal also contains amino acids in the profiling and this is where the Pearson method always comes into play but for the purpose of the simplicity of this lecture we are going to only add fish meal replacer we are going to have only 4 kg 
or the fish meal person. Me had a sample about the stand by standard, the recommendation is one kg. Here the recommendation is one kg. So let's look at what we balance out for the quit offer. So 475.6 plus 237.8 plus 10 kg plus 4 kg plus 1 kg plus 1 kg plus 12 kg. This gives us 741.4. Now let's balance it up. Looking at this, most times, depending on the maze, remember, we said we are going to be using new maze because the new maze is cheaper at this time. And new maze, because we are going to use new maze, this formula, we are going to add acidifier. And what's acidifier? is to help to bind modes, to bind mycotoxins that may likely come out of this maze because it's a new maze, it still contains a level of liquid. So it's always one kg, so plus one kg. And again, new maze has a little lower metabolizable energy than the old maze and uh, has the ab ability to bind lysine. So because of that, we usually compensate the lysine and the methionine. So we'll have methionine and lysine to compensate. Methionine is going to be 1 kg and lysine 0 0.5 kg. So the feed is okay now. So we can have plus 1.5 kg. 741.4 plus 1 kg plus 1.5 kg. So all of this is going to amount to 7 for 3.9 so and we're looking at having a total of 1000 kilograms so 1000 kilograms minus 743.9 so it means your wheat offer is going to be 256.1 and now why is it going to be 256.1 remember we're using magic energy mix and this magic energy mix it digests the wheat offer and converts the wheat offer to more energy, to more energy. And the content of this energy magic mix has a lot of energy in it and also have a lot of amino acids to compensate the soya. So that is why you are seeing that wheat offer is higher in this feed than, than what it should be in the standard feed meal. So let's look at the costs of each of these ingredients. Now in the market now, New maize is selling for about 350 naira per kilogram. So 350 times 475.6. It means you are going to be spending 166,460 for maize. Now remember, this 1,000 kg represents 40 bags of 25 kg feed. That is the mean of 1,000 kilo, and that is called one ton of feed. So please, the cost analysis is very important to us. So we want to know how much we are going to be spending. Now soya, currently it is sold for 280 naira per kilogram. So times 237.8. So the soya is going to be costing us 66,000. 584 naira. The wheat offer in the market now is 150 naira per kilogram times 256.1. That will cost us 38,415 naira. Soya oil per 10 kilogram now is sold for 12,000 naira in the market. So it's 55 kg in the container and each 5 kg is 6,000 so it's going to cost us 12,000 naira. Fish meal replacer for every 25 kg it is sold for 90,000 for every 25 kg so divided by 25 it means each kilogram is 3,600 times 4 so it's going to give us 
400. Mea de San in the market now is 4,600 per kilogram. The Monesin in the market now is 5,300 per kilogram. Energy Magic Mix in the market now, every 25 kg is going to be is costing us 46,000 naira for every 25 kg. So divided by 25. So it means each kilogram is going to be 1,840 times we need 12 kilograms here. That will cost us 22,080 naira. I see the fire in the market, depending on the one you are using, the one I use costs me 2,500. Metallion in the market now is 2,800 per kilogram. Lysine is 3,000 naira per kilogram. So let's look at the cost of this feed. Let's total it. 41,000 plus 166,460 plus 66,584 plus 38,415 plus 12,000 plus 14,400 plus 4,600 plus 5,300 plus 22,018 naira plus 2,500 plus 2,800 plus 3,000. It means a ton of the feed is going to be costing us 379,139. So divided by 40 bucks. Let's look at how many, how much will one bag cost divided by 40. It means each bag will cost 9,478.475. Now this is the average cost of this feed. Now, we are going to be looking at other factors that can affect the cost, which includes the cost of milling, cost of milling, transportation, bagging. Bag, bag now, these are the three major factors that can make the feed more expensive. And cost of milling, every one ton now, is being milled for 10,000 naira. And transportation depending, is relative, depending on where you are taking the maize from, and where you are transporting the finished feed to your farm, or where you have a feed mill in your farm already. So these are the things that can affect the transportation. But let's allocate 15,000 naira per ton. You may spend lesser than this in transportation. And bagging, whether you want to bag it or not, some people may want to mill this feed and you know sell to their neighbor but however baggaging may be included sometimes you may use the maize the, the baggage you use for maize and then baggage back your feet and take home but baggaging for now most times each bag costs 200 naira now sack so times 40 if you want to do a special baggaging it's going to cost you 8000 naira so let's look at this so 8000 plus 15,000 plus 10,000. That would be an extra 33,000 Naira. This 33,000 Naira divided by 40, let's look at the extra cost per bag, divided by 40. It means you are going to be spending extra 825 Naira per bag. So this 825 Naira plus 9,478. 0.475. It is approximately you are going to be spending 10,000, let's say 304 naira. naira. Approximately is what is going to cost you. But meanwhile, you need to add extra about 200 naira cost of inflation of something. Sometimes you may go to market and find out that some prices have changed. It can reduce, it can go up. So you always add cost of inflation. And the rack will range from 200 naira to 500 naira, depending on your location and where you are buying from. So these are the little, little things you need to know about feed composition. So if you are using new maize to compound your feed now, you may be competing people in the market who has 
broilers and they are feeding them with commercial feed. So with this little explanation, we are making a high quality feed. Energy mix is there, probiotics is there, fish meal replacer is there, soya oil is there, you know. The, this is a well balanced feed. You even come added methanin and lysine and there's acidify. You are very sure that this feed will give you perfect maximum result for broiler starter. So if you want to learn how to compose broiler finisher feed, watch this next video.